hi friends hey we continue our journey this is monday uh we today was kind of a slow day um uh we we left this morning from athens from uh the port there and then we board our cruise ship and it's gonna take us the, all around in the, the next four days but and, and the, to, the stop of tonight which is um uh really not um, in, within the journey of Paul but of course uh, since we are in the in the Mediterranean we are doing that and um, so we're stopping in Mykonos so we, we stopped here to visit the the, the city is this wonderful and um, beautiful Greek town and, and that's kind of what we expected of when you come to Greece you know like in Thessalonica up north was kind of different so here we are in Mykonos, this is the area of, um, they call it Little Venice, and this is how fantastic this is. So yeah, this is afternoon, we came to visit here. And that tiny church there is the Catholic Church and the big uh, behind is the Orthodox Cathedral of the town. So, um, but yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to, uh, we visited it and we're moving along. So the thing that we have been reflecting today is that these waters uh, of, of, of uh, the, the Mediterranean Sea was where Paul navigated. So as we navigate in our, in our cruise, and you can see in the video, the beautiful, uh, surroundings here. So today we left uh, Athens and took our cruise and we are on the way to Mykonos. Of course um, it is a touristic place. Uh, Paul probably did not stop in Mykonos but what we can see is that Paul navigated this sea and, and this is pretty fascinating to know that we are of course much more comfortable than Paul uh, on a cruise ship but he would navigate these waters when he was moving from Athens to the other different areas in Greece and then Turkey. And that video you saw well, we just we were uh, navigating but those, uh, those are the waters that Paul navigated and, and of course the reflection for us was um, so we're navigating with the comforts of the modern life but when Paul did it he didn't have all these uh, comforts and all these things that would <laughs> make his traveling easy but and nonetheless he, he kept traveling and he kept uh, visiting different communities and, and building communities and structuring communities we also reflected on that today you know how are, how are we committed to build community in our parishes and how can we rekindle that spirit that was in the early church to, to inspire others and, and to create communities out of nothing and, and we reflected on how Paul did in Thessalonica, how he did it in Philippi, how he did it in Berea and how he is doing it, he did it in Athens and, and moving every place that he went, he went to, to to preach the gospel and create and build community and, and so we actually spend some time reflecting on, on the time of Paul in Athens and, and, and his time there he was by himself and and we know that, that he preached in the synagogue, that he preached in the market and he also was in the main square debating with philosophers and all that preaching Christ resurrected and, and even though his mission was not uh, successful there were a few people who believed in him and, and kind of started to rekindle that small community that helped him probably moved to Corinth where he really establishes a big community. So um, reflection for us here is navigating the same waters of Paul, um, also rekindling our, our call to build community, to create communities around us. And so that's the invitation also for you to, to, to I encourage you to uh, work every day to create and build community around you. So um, tomorrow we'll have more about uh, FSO and that will look really great. Thank you.